Hello there, this is Glenn Berry with Dr. DMV LLC, and I'm back with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to flash the BIOS on an MSI Mag B550 Tomahawk motherboard using the regular M Flash utility that's built into the BIOS setup program. And you might be wondering, how do I know what version of the BIOS I actually have? Well, one easy way to check that is with the CPU Z utility that you see right here. And if you go to the main board tab, it will show you the date and the version and then the AGESA version of the BIOS that you have on your system right now. So I've got version A50 that was released on January 15th, 2021, and it's a GESA version 1.2.0.0. So if I go to the MSI support website and go to the support section and go to the BIOS section, this is the version that I have right now. It was released on January 26th. It was actually compiled earlier. And that's what I have. And they have a newer version right here that was released on March the 5th. And it's a beta version, so you may or may not want to use that. I've had good luck with beta versions. But what's important about this is it updates the AGESA version to 1.2.0.1. And it gives a performance improvement for Ryzen 5000 series processors. So I'm interested in trying this out to see whether or not I actually get a performance improvement. So I'm gonna show you how this works. All right, first we need to download the latest BIOS. So make sure you're on the support page and go to the BIOS section and find the latest BIOS and then just click the download button. And it should go down pretty quickly. It's only about 20 megabytes. Our next step is unzipping that zip file that we just downloaded. And here it is in my downloads folder. And also before I do that, I wanna double check and see that my thumb drive is ready to go. Now it doesn't really matter if it's USB 2.0 or 3.0, but it's very important that this thing is formatted in FAT32. So you can just right click and check the properties. And right there you can see it's formatted in FAT32. If it's formatted in XFAT or NTFS, he'll have to reformat it in FAT32. So I'm good to go. So now what we'll do is just right click and pick extract all and let it extract the files from that into a new folder. And if we go into there, right here is the actual file that we need to grab. So I'm gonna just copy that down to my thumb drive and then we'll be all set. And you don't need to rename this like you do if you're using the BIOS flash button. Leave it at the original name. It's easier if you put this in the root of the drive, but it doesn't really matter as long as you can find it later on in this process. So we're going to turn this machine on now. And then we will see if we can get it to go in the BIOS setup. There we go. So now we're in the BIOS setup and that's where we want to be. And you can be in the advanced or you can be in the easy mode, either way. So if you're in easy mode, you just go down here and hit M flash. And if you're in the advanced, you can hit M flash right down here. And when you do that, it's going to ask you if he wants to reboot and go into flash mode and go ahead and say yes. And you need to have your USB drive plugged in with that file that we prepared earlier. So now it's going to reboot and go into M flash mode. So this will take a few seconds and then it'll come up and it's going to show when it comes up the BIOS version that it has currently. And it's found that Patriot thumb drive that we prepared the file for. And you can just go up here and it shows you the current BIOS version is A50 and we're going to install A61. So that's exactly what we want to do. So we'll hit enter and then go ahead and go into flash mode. And this is going to go in and it erases the old BIOS and then it lays down the new BIOS on top of it and you hope that you don't lose power while this is going on. I've got my machine plugged into a UPS just to be extra safe, but it's gonna go through and, and do its thing. It takes five, six minutes, and then when it's done, 
it'll reboot. And what happens when you update the BIOS is it goes back to all the default settings. And the important one you want to make sure you go back and look at is your XMP setting because if you've turned on XMP like you should, it's going to go back to the default setting and your memory is going to be running at slower speed than, than the XMP setting. So you have to go back into the BIOS setup after this is done and re-enable XMP. This will just go on for several minutes. So I've sped this up. I wish this went this fast in real life though. So after it's done flashing, you're going to have to go in and re-enable XMP. And then on my machine, I've got to switch back to CSM or else it doesn't want to boot. Anyways, let's see if it'll boot now. Come on. Alright, so we can see that it's booting into Windows, so that's a good thing. Okay, after flashing the BIOS and re-enabling XMP, let's fire up Windows and see what's going on to make sure everything turned out as we hoped it did. So with CPU-Z, you can see that my main board, the BIOS version, is now A61 from February 26th. That's what we wanted. And if we go to the memory tab, we can see that the memory is running at roughly 1800 megahertz. And if we go to the SPD tab, we can see that XMP, that's pretty much the speed that it's supposed to be running at. So that means XMP is enabled and the BIOS got updated just as we would expect. So that's a good thing. So now you can see how you go about updating the BIOS using mFlash on an MSI motherboard. This is Glenn Berry with Dr. DMV LLC and I want to thank you for watching this video. If you liked the video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. And finally, if you want to see more content like this, please subscribe because that really helps the channel out.